Yan starts his camera rolling, still battling against the increasingly powerful current. He thinks he has spotted something in the distance. Two sharks are acting in a rather strange manner. He can't believe it. There before his eyes is what he has been waiting to see for the last 15 years. The two sharks are copulating. Jan arrives at the very moment the mail is through. It's all over in an instant, and the partners have already separated. For Jan, these few seconds are his reward for years of diving and patient observation. As the now exhausted female moves off, Jan knows that this will almost certainly be the greatest diving experience of his life. But today, Mother Nature has decided to be more generous than ever and offer Yan yet another unbelievable spectacle. Taking advantage of the female's exhaustion, a second overexcited male moves in and aggressively seizes one of her fins with its snout. The two sharks are carried away by the current. Yan has difficulty keeping them in view. Two other sharks follow the couple awaiting the slightest chance to move in as the male is having trouble penetrating the female. At the end of its tether, the male finally backs off. In a flash, a third male takes its place. The female is totally exhausted by her ordeal. Taking hold of her by the branchial fins, the new contender attempts to position itself for penetration. The female is reeling and can hardly breathe. Incapable of swimming to generate oxygen, she risks dying of asphyxiation. But the male is without mercy and abandons all caution. Even the presence of Yan, who has moved in closer, doesn't put him off. In a sudden, violent movement, he attaches himself to the female and penetrates her. The coupling has begun. Yan is about to film an extraordinary scene. Although to all appearances the act is extremely violent, over thousands of years this copulation method has selected the most powerful males and the most resistant females. It is one of the keys that has enabled the species to survive. Down through the generations, female sharks have been subject to a rigorous selection process. To support the bites they receive, the skin of the female is twice as thick as that of the males. The wounds on the female's body are fairly harmless and help trigger off ovulation. Male sharks have two copulatory organs, but only use one at a time. These organs are not erectile penises, but appendages formed from the inner edge of the pelvic fins. The coupling has been underway for five minutes. Both sharks are finding it increasingly difficult to breathe and are hardly moving. They have placed themselves head on into the current in order to allow the water to pass through their mouths and provide them with vitally needed oxygen. Their survival is totally dependent on the current. And this is why the male struggles to stay facing the current. Yan is also exhausted by the encounter. He has been struggling against the current for over 10 minutes, holding on to the coral, camera in hand. 
the coupling appears to be almost at its end. It is at this moment that the current becomes crucially important for the sharks, as it acts as an artificial respirator, ensuring their survival. With a sudden shudder, the male frees the female from its grip. Maimed by the bites of the males, the female gradually recovers and drifts off with the current, gasping for breath. Jan is also totally worn out, but extremely happy. He's the first person in the world to have witnessed and filmed gray sharks mating.